So this grammar point um, is what I was saying in the beginning of describing it, which is that the aru, why is it not? Oh, it's not connected. That um, ue ni aru, the thing that's ue is definitely the kagiana. The kagiana is above the doorknob. Right? The kagiana was above the doorknob. Yeah. So, so the kiho is, is above the doorknob. The yes. ga is the subject. The ga, ga is the subject. And ue ni aru descri is describing the subject, which is the... Yes. And specifically ki, by kagiana. what exactly it is that above is this part over here, which... This is a relative clause describing that, but the the subject is definitely this guy. This guy is above. Specifically, it is above the doorknob. Right. So, so it's functioned yeah. as any normal sentence. Ga marks the subject, followed by the verb that describes it. Yep. And so, so in that case, this ni and this ue are kind of connected, but the it's kind of been dropped the connection and moved over here to a relative clause yeah it's above the doorknob so yeah sorry about that above, above the doorknob <laughs> now it's clear <clears throat> okay so let's go read this what does it say moreru moreru is to leak like to leak. have a hole in something moreru can you read this for me Hi. Be, be the, head, 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 head do hon. That's headphones. Head do hon kara oto ga morete iru. The sound leaks from the headphone. Yep. So just so you know, this can be used for not just water. And I thought thought sentence, and I'm like, oh, that's an easy sentence. Um, next word. Can you read it for me. So the money can leak from the account. Yes. Right. That sounds right. Hi. So, shima, shikima. Shikima, yeah. Actually, it should be sukima. Why is it? How does she get in there? Shikima. Su, su. Su. Sukima. Sukima. Oh. Hi. Mistakes in a row. I got to get my bags taken away. Uh, Sukima. <laughs> is um a gap like a chink in one's armor but it's any kind of gap that you're talking about is a sukima hi that or you should be punished with more coffee so, so. <laughs> <laughs> with milk <laughs> latte double shot i gotta gotta wake up when i make these okay so let's go read the line from the book hi sono doa wa saki ah no is it saki shita uh, shita yep Shita no, shita no suki magara. Suki magara is wow. Well, it was good guess. This is kara from from kara from from the leak. Yeah, from the gap. Suki mas gap. Leaking is a verb, which is uh moreru. Moreteru da. Okay, so the hikari ga moreteta. The light leaks out from the suki ma, which is the gap. Where is this gap? Below the door. Perfect. Below that door. Yep. Okay, so let's go read our next line. Got shagande. Do you remember what shagande means? First, do that before you read it. Shagamu. Shagamu. To crouch. Yeah, nice. Okay, now you get to read it. So I crouch, shagande. Um, kagi ana kara no zoita ga yokumeenai. So I cannot see well. Mm -hmm. um, That's uh, really connected to the nozoku right here. So it's a little bit odd to start with. I cannot see well. Nozo, nozo, so the stare. Yeah, we're peeking into what do you think? So we're peeking into the into the oh, kiho, into so, the so. kagiana. Kage, Can I see anything uh, from that kagiana? I, I cannot see well. I see yes. something, but not well. I can't really see anything, yeah. Can't see anything. So I crouch, I peek inside that keyhole, and I can't really see much. I can't see anything. 
Okay, kanji check from last week. Remember this hard guy? Hi, kantan. Perfect. And this one? Um, harigane. Perfect. Layas. Uh, do you know what this verb is pronounced as? Pronounced as hikaru. Perfect. Hikaru to light. Um, can you read this for me? It's madoseki wa maho de hikari, hikaru. The magical stone, the magic of the magical stone is it's glowing. Specifically, it says using the magic, the magical stone was glowing. Um, though we probably wouldn't use maho. Instead, we would probably use maryoku. Marioka, the magic using the magical power, the stone exactly. was glowing, was emitting yep. light. Yep, exactly. Which is what this sentence said. So I'll skip that one for you. Um, here's a new word. Can you read it for me? Gakuchi, gakubuchi. Yeah. Gakubuchi. A gakubuchi is a picture frame. Pretty random. A gakubuchi is a picture frame. So. Right. Okay. So let's go read this line from the both this example sentence. Kin iro no gakubuchi no kado ga mieta dakeda. You know what dake means? Dake is only. Yep, only. So in here it's a you would probably actually use all. All I could mieru is how we express only in English, which is really weird. All I could see was the corner of a picture frame that was made of gold. Perfect. Color. Yep. Um, this word right here, this hikari, is pronounced as ko. Mako. Mako is not a real Japanese word. This is made for this book, but you will also see mako in other fantasy stories. This would be how you would assume this would be read anywhere, because it's literally magic light. Mako. So you will also see like video games with this name, for example. But it's not a real Japanese word. You won't find it in the dictionary. Um, so it's kind of like Pokemon. <laughs> mako. Mako. I think from Final Fantasy VII, there's a nuclear reactor was called Mako. I bet. <laughs> Just magic light. Gonna kill us off all with that. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Um, so can you read this for me? Hi. Um, Mako wa marioku de hikaru. The, the magic light, using the magical power, the magic light glow. Exactly. Perfect. Um, do you happen to know how this guy's pronounced? It's pronounced as Karada. Good guess, good guess. Karada actually has an extra little radical right here of hito to mean the origin of human or body. I this see. right here is actually means book or origin. So it's either home Hai. or the other one is moto, which is moto. origin. Uh, so more the um, Moto for origin. Moto has this kanji. So there, there's, there's, so hon does have the meaning of origin. That's what a nihon for Japan. Nihon. Uh, that is the origin of the sun. That's the, what Japanese is in Japanese. Nihon. Nihon. Uh, this moto also does mean origin, but this guy's never read as moto. Uh, I think it's just read as hon, but it might have a second reading. Um, Okay, do you remember how this guy was read? Hi, um... Sho, sho. Good um, end with sho, you're right. Mu, mu sho. Good guess, it's tsume sho. Shume -so. so tsume sho was office. Office. And this kanji right here of tsume, this little eu, little thing right there, this shows up in this verb right here that is tumaru, which is to cramp, cramp. to uh, stuff. So tumaru is the verb meaning to stuff. To be stuffed. Stuff. Tumaru. So an office is like stuffed with stuff. Stuff <laughs> things in there. Yep. The place where you stuff stuff. <laughs> it's so true because 
Japanese space are so cramped. <laughs> so, so cramped. Suppose you have a little space, you just pack it with paperwork and everything you can put in there. <laughs> yep. I seen some of their offices is very packed with paperwork. Packed. Okay, now let's go read this sentence. So it's honga tsumata. What do you think this means? It's stuff for books. Yeah, stuffed. In this case, it's kind of like stuffed full of books. Books have been stuffed. Books have been stuffed. You stuff the place with books. Exactly. Here's a new word. Can you read it for me? Sodana. Perfect. So is also the book, right? But more it like is. a collection of books. Uh, sho kind of means writings. Right. So it is used for a collection of books. Um, it's also shows up in the word kaku, which is to write in general. Kaku. Right. Oh, not that kaku. That's a draw. Kaku. kaku. To write. To write. Um, it also will show up in the word for documents and things like that. Sure. So, it, yeah. So yes, anything with writing in it, you can use sho for sure. that. So dana is shelf. So a show dana. dana is a bookshelf. Bookshelf. Hi. Bookshelf. Dana is kind of nice for the kanji. Kind of looks like we got some shelves right here and a person coming in to put stuff in it. Uh, but that's not person, but that's what it looks like. Hi. Um, it's ended with dana. What did it start with? Show. Perfect. Bookshelf. Can you read this for me? Shodana ni honga sumata. The bookshelf was stuffed with or stuff stuff with books. Perfect. The book was stuffed into the bookshelf. At, at the bookshelf, yeah, into the bookshelf. Yeah. Um sorry with show. What did it end with? Dana. Perfect. Um, could you read this for me? It is Shodana to my Mako ga mieru. Um, the bookshelf and the light can be seen. Yes. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Chira chira to marioku de hikaru mako to hon ga tsumata shodana to kin iro no gakubuchi no kado ga Chirato mieta dake da. So, chira chirato mario kude with the magical power and chira chira the light um, and the 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 glowing magical light hikaru mako. The glowing magical light. Um, so, chira chira, in case that's confusing you, is a twinkling sound effect. So, it's just being used to describe how it, the thing is lighting up in a twinkling kind of way. So, the magical light was glowing mm. with magical power that is chira chira. Yeah. So, in English, you might say the light bulb was was having light right it was illuminated it, it was making light right and right. what's running a light bulb would be electricity so with electricity we make the light bulb light up and in this case it's saying the magical light is being lit up using magical power and specifically it's a little bit of like a sparkly light so it's not like it's very a harsh light um it just is being described as like kind of fluttery or whatever so so very, Sarado. very fantasyful. So yeah, that, 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 that's what's going on here. I just wasn't sure if you could tell that or not. Hi. Um. Um. Hong Hong ga sumata. Uh, show danato. The books were stuffed. Um. The the books the bookshelf was stuffed with books, and kin iro no ga. The corner of the frame, the corner of the golden frame, uh, I can only see now, 
Girato is like what? What is Girato? That's here? like the glance at. So it means he can like kind of. It's just saying he can barely me do it. So, I was only able to glance at the corner of the frame of the golden frame. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So he describing what he saw. He yes. saw lights that was glowing. He saw the bookshelf full of books, and he saw the corner of a golden frame. Yep, that's all he could see. So here is our next um thing to read. So no toki, kachi kachi, kachi kachi, kachi kachi, kachi to oto ga shita. And at that time, there was this sound that was sound. Kachi kachi. It's kachi 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 kachi. Yep. So that's not really a footstep sound, but we'll find out what sound that is. Do you remember how this kanji is read? Shirazu. Yep. Without Perfect. knowing. It. Um, can you read this for me? Kono oto wa yoku shite iru. Hi. Got that topic sound, login. This sound. I know the sound well. Perfect. Um, do you know what this kanji is read as? Matsu. Good guess. This is um Motsu. Motsu to hold. So always look out for that hand kanji for matsu versus motsu. Because matsu doesn't matsu doesn't have the hand. It has like I don't know what that radical is. The road thing. The road. Thing. It's the crossroad. I know. Yeah. This shows up in um like mail, I think. <laughs> That's not mail. <laughs> but it, it shows up in that. Right. Right. Can you read this for me? Kikai. Kikai's machine. Kikai. Kikai machine. Kai. What did it start with? It ended with Kai. Um, Ki. Yep. Kikai. Can you read this for me? Um, Higure no kimi wa kikai o motte iru. The Lord of Twilight grabs onto or hold the machine. Yeah, specifically he's holding. Hold, he's so motte iru tends to be used for like having something on your possession versus necessarily really just holding it in your hand. In general, you would ah. use like a different vocab word for that, even though it does mean to hold. So it's like when there's like it just like I feel like in general you'd be like or something. I don't know. Like I feel like you'd use something else to be specifically like he's holding it I in see. his hand. So basically he has on him a machine. Which is just very interesting because you're right, like both that it does mean to hold, but for whatever reason so can I... tends to not mean that. Uh, yeah. So the clarification on this mate. So he he had possession of on his person or yeah. does it mean he had possession of machines in general like his machines are in a factory somewhere and he's the owner of the machine it can depend on context um in this context it's him having it on him um but i do know you can use like with kuruma i do remember like when i first learned what they do that it can just mean like to have a car um so yes <laughs> Um, so it, it's very context based what it means. Right. Um, so it denotes ownership. Yes, it denotes ownership. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Uh, machi. Machi aruku. No. Mochi How would you machi aruku. aruku anyway? That's not even physically possible. To wait hai, and hai, the walk? Hi. Mochi aruku. Mochi aruku. So this is the possessed while walking. So here it makes it really obvious that it's not just having possession of something. It specifically has it on him, right? While he's walking. Multi adequate Hi. to walk while having on you. So this this is one of those examples of it makes it more obvious what we're talking about. Well, the other one, it's very much context based. It could be he has it in his house, could have it on him. Doesn't really matter. Not um specified. How much this word start with key? Uh, kika, ki, kikai. Yep. yep, kikai. Perfect. Machine. So let's go read the sentence. Um, Higure no kimi kolo ga 
持ち歩いている機械の音だ。はい。The Lord of Twilight c l o s e Well, this is a relative clause right here. So I would start on the bottom.、Oh. Um, last sentence was,、sound. I know that sound well. Was our last sentence.、Uh, the, uh, the sound of the machine that is. The Lord of Twilight Clo is holding and walking with the machine, and there's a sound. The sound. The sound is the sound of the machine that the Lord of Twilight is holding as he's walk. Yeah, that's basically what it says.、Um, and I see if there's like a better definition of mochi、uh, aruku, because it sounds weird when you translate that to English like that.、Um, do you know how this guy's read? Shodana. Hi. Shodana. Uh, so, mochi aruku can also be translated as to carry around. So, that, that, that's a better way to think about it. So, the, the sound was that of the machine that the Lord of Twilight c a r r y i n g Yeah, that, car- that he carries around with him. He doesn't have to be walking with it.、Um, do you happen to know how this part is pronounced of this word? Chu, chu, Good chu, guess. And here it's naka. Nakami. I see. Nakami.、Uh, two is definitely how that kanji can be read. So it's very hard to know.、Um, so nakami is contents. The contents content. of something.、Um, can you read this for me? Sono... Oh, this is Mukashi. Sono... Sorry. Mukashi. Sono Mukashi ore wa baka na koto o shita. That time ago. Arewa, orewa, I was,、um, I, 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 baka na koto o shita. I did a stupid thing. Yep, I did a certain thing long ago. Sono is hard to translate into English here. I feel like I just would avoid that long ago at a certain time in the past.、Um, this was supposed to be sh- shiru.、Uh, how do you put shiru into Thai form? The Thai form? We just、yeah. go. It's just sh- want for. No, it's not shira, it's shiritai. Yep, shiritai. Perfect.、Um, this word started with naka, meant contents. What did it end with? Nakami. Yep, nakami. So this su, it comes kind of from suri, which is pickpocketing. So suru is the verb to pick someone's pocket. Suru. Oh, wow, we finally, finally see the verb. Finally see the little kanji right there. Uh, as well, kind of funny kanji got hand, some can inside someone's pocket. <laughs> um, I... so this is, of course, an u verb because how else would you get suri, which ends with a d, left with an u verb? Um, can you I... read this for me? Pocket no nakami o suta. I I pick pock the.、Um... Content of the pocket. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. um Line from the book. Kuro ga nani o motte, motte ru no ka shiri takute, pocket on no nakami o sutta no da. Klo. The subject here is、from. I. I shiritakte. What I shiritai is this. Shiritakte. So in English, we probably would start with what? Or with the shiritai. You start with shiritai and then you do the what, the nani. <laughs> English see, so is weird. What I, wanted, what I wanted to know, takte, what I wanted to know is. No, no, I, I wanted to know what. The Lord of the Klo. What I wanted to know is what Klo is holding. Right? Yep. Perfect. And the 
I still I pickpocketed no da. It was the thing that I pickpocketed. That'd be mono. We got nakami. Do you know what nakami means? The content. Yes. So Are no da. Uh, ignore no da for now. I'll explain to you what that means in a bit. So I pickpocketed the content of the pocket. Exactly. So I really wanted to know what crow ha was had on him, what he possessed. So I pickpocketed the context of his pocket. No da. So no da is a very similar to kara. Or for example, no de. We've seen sometimes. No de and no da are basically like the same. The difference is one's the end of a sentence and one's a conjunction. It basically means like cuz. But it's a very weak cuz. So kara is very aggressive, right? It's literally the word because. No da just kind of insinuates because. So this because is here is because we've been talking about for a little bit what this weird ass noise. So he says, um, there's a weird noise that I can hear and I know this noise quite well. This is this machine that Pro has in his pocket that well has on him. And so long ago, I did something really stupid. I really want to know what exactly was that thing. So because of that, I picked his pocket. So the no da is here just kind of showing that he's has he's doing reasoning right here. I wanted to know, so I do the next action. Um and no da. explain the sheet doc there. Yeah. So you'll also see nda, that's the same thing. Um, it's just a way to little add an explanation without being as aggressive as kara. So a kara is very aggressive. <laughs> very much so. Um, so our next word is osamaru. This is to like fit in something, but it's like to fit like exactly. So there's no extra space. Osamaru, which is a u verb. Hi. Um, so adjectives like kuroi can turn into kurosa, dropping an e and adding sa, to kind of turn it into a category is how I'm going to describe this. So black, as in an adjective, turns into the level of black, how black something is. How would you change oki, which is big, into the size of something, how big something is? Oki. Okisa. Perfect. Okisa. Yep, that's all you do. Um, this is a verb we saw not that long ago, meant to kind of fit snugly. How do you think it's red? It's, um... Um, saka, um, Osamaru. you say this one was to, to fit something in? No, it, it means it fits. <laughs> it fits. It is a snug fit. Osamaru. Osamaru. Okay, can you read this for me? Ishi no okisa wa akambo no. Koboshi gurai. Koboshi gurai. Yep. Uh, uno. Koboshi was fist. It's been a bit since we saw that word. Koboshi gurai is the size of a fist. The. Noboshi wa koru. Akajan. Akabo no. The red babe, the the baby, the yep. akabo, the baby. Uh, shini shiri no okisa wa ishi. the size. Ishi no okisa wa the size of the stone is that of a baby fist. Yep, about roughly. that of a baby fist. Yep. So the the largeness, which we don't really say in English, so we say the word size, but okisa is is illustrating that. So perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Poketo ni osama, osama da nakami. Right. The um, poketo ni osama da nakami. What does nakami the, mean? The content, 
the content was fitted. The content yep. was um it fits it fits snugly into what? It fits into the pocket. Yeah, it was so it's into the pocket. So right now is our halfway point. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds.